Uh, so as Daryl mentioned, I'm uh, Warren McLeod. Um, I'm a professional photographer, uh, musician, songwriter, uh, HVAC technician, do a little bit of everything. Um, I've been getting prints done at London Drugs for quite a few years now, probably 15. Um, I started it with uh, black and white film and um, color film and uh, transitioned to digital maybe six years ago um, and uh, actually bought my uh, Nikon gear here at the, this London drug store and um, yeah so it was kind of off and running once the digital age hit for me anyways and um, my photography really kind of took off once I discovered that London drugs had a professional level printer which is actually behind us here this Epson 9900 which has allowed me to make prints like we have right there and um, even though in digital age my camera the Nikon 300s is ancient um, it still uh, produces pretty good images and um, the uh, pictures that this machine puts out um, I think are fantastic it's a professional level printer and uh, not that the other printers aren't professional level it's just that um, this one has uh, all the bells and whistles that a professional photographer is looking for and what I liked about London Drugs is you can buy all your gear that you need here at the store um, you don't have to go to a different place to buy professional level gear and a different place to get um, your prints done um, it can all be one-stop shopping plus you can buy your drugs here if you want, supplements, everything. And um, so for me, it's been um, a really good experience coming here. And um, I also learned some stuff about uh, color calibration because when I first started getting prints made, I was wondering well, how come it doesn't look like it does on my screen at home? And it's because um, you have to tweak your color settings of your screen at home um, to kind of match the output of the machines here. And um, so it took a little bit of understanding um, if you have some professional color calibration equipment, um, that helps, but you don't have to. You can uh, tweak your own monitor at home um, to um, try to closely match um, what London Drugs does. So when you look at your picture at home and you get your prints done here, they'll look the same. And um, one of the other advantages here is that um, the technicians actually look at individual prints and make adjustments on each print at what it needs and so you can put in no color correction but it may not turn out the way you like because you doesn't look your monitor isn't calibrated at home so um, it's best to trust in for most cases the technicians at London Drugs to tweak the images for you as opposed to put in no corrections unless you know what you're doing and myself I've tweaked my setup at home to match the output here so that when I do corrections at home using Photoshop or Lightroom um, that I know they're going to look exactly like what I want them to look. Just as a consumer note, on the website for London Drugs, for the Photolab website, we do have the downloadable profiles that you can put into your color correcting program, which will match the paper types that we use here. So ideally, once you put the profiles in, you shouldn't have to match us, we match you. Right. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty big advantage. And because um, if you do go to uh, like a dedicated professional lab, it, it'll take a week at least, you know, where school photographers take their stuff and that kind of thing. It'll take a week to get your prints. Whereas here at London Drugs, um, the same day or very least the next day. Um, you can also get calendars done. And what I like about the calendars is um, the one form of calendar, it's on real photo paper. And um, with that real photo paper, you, you're giving somebody if you're if you're giving it as a gift you're giving somebody 12 real photographs you know almost 8 by 10 size that they can cut out and put in frames if they actually like that once the year is over and um, to me that's uh, an advantage as far as calendar goes um, you know because a lot of places it's just kind of like cardboard is what they're printed on and um, it's not exactly cardboard but it's kind of like that and but even and they offer the same product here but um, the actual photo paper calendars I find to be superior quality, the, the look, the feel, and they're real photographs. So over the years I know you've been a big fan of our wide format, but it's nice to hear that you also like our other uh, 
digital printing as well. That's oh yeah, the eight by twelves on your other digital printers they're fantastic, right? But if, if you want to go big, um, this ninety nine hundred uh, for me it's it's the way to go, and it uh, it's been a big selling point for me. So I see we've got another print coming off the machine here. Is that one of yours as well? Yeah, that's one of mine too. It's hard to tell right now, but it's going to be a weird picture of the bow building downtown from a back alley. And, um, you know, it takes a little bit more time, right? It probably takes 20 minutes for a big picture to come through, but, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, a pretty, it's, it's a pretty good deal. So as an equipment user, you said you were using exclusively I, Nikon? I, yeah, exclusively Nikon. I shot Canon when I was a film guy. Um, but um, I prefer the look uh, of Nikon. It's all personal preference, but I prefer the look of the Nikon digital images over Canon. Um, but it's all an individual, um, individual taste kind of thing, right? I and understand your your video or your your film or your photos can be viewed on a couple of different websites. What what do you do with your websites? Well, I I, tr I market myself through there. I haven't taken full grasp of the social media realm. You know, I'm not Instagram. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be though, and I'm in the process of possibly rebranding. Right now, I've got uh, WarrenMcLeod.com, where I uh, I sell my prints through. I, I mostly sell word of mouth though, uh, but people um, it's a good reference uh, to see what I'm doing. Uh, also, I'm on Facebook, Warren McLeod Photography on Facebook. Um, that's where my newest images are. And I'm also possibly going to be rebranding soon because... Um, I, Who's I, Joe Who? Joe Who is what my music stuff is done under um, because I, I don't actually sing and play that well, so I use uh, real musicians that are friends of mine to do demos. And because there's different people playing, um, I've been using the moniker Joe Who for that band. So I thought just to amalgamate my creativity, uh, I got Joe Who music and Joe Who photo. So right now it seems like a pretty good idea, but um, so you may be able to find me under johu.ca, johu photo. Um, won't be johu.com because that's a psychic in Chicago. Um, <laughs> so I just gave him a plug, but. Um, so yeah. hopefully we'll get an update sometime. We can post another video when you've uh, fixed your rebranding and could give us a little bit more information on we can take a look at more of your yes. photos. Yes, and right now though, the best place to find me, uh, the latest work would be on the Facebook page, the Warren McLeod Photography. But warrenmcleod.com um, will always be there. That I won't, I won't ever give that up. So um, at the very least, it'll redirect to um, whatever incarnation uh, I, I am now. And um, we'll be able to see your photos here too on the 19th of August at London Drugs in the southwest of Calgary at London Place West on display in the photo department for part of World Photography Day. And which is a good deal, right? So come on down and check it out. And you can, uh, too bad I don't have any pictures from uh, my point and shoot film days because that's how I got into photography is I, I had a few incidents in a very short period of time that told me I needed a camera because I can't draw to recreate the few things that I saw in this three months period. And I bought a cheap little point and shoot film camera. And uh, I found out in a very few roles that I needed something more to capture what I need in my images. And that's where London Drugs was a big help to help choose the right lenses for the type of photography that you want to do, the type of camera that you need for the type of photography that you want to do. Not everybody needs a professional digital SLR to get pictures like this. Um, you know, uh, you, you can get good pictures from even your cell phone and London Drugs can print those out too. And um, I've actually gotten some pictures done here um, from my cell phone that I've actually cannot, I could not recreate with my professional digital SLR. And um, so, um, like I said, London Drugs, they can help you from your first shot to your professional career. It's, it's all here. Um, the, the expertise in the camera department, the photo department, um, it's, it's, it's here. Well, we appreciate you sharing your time and your uh, efforts and your photography with us today. And uh, we're looking forward to, to hearing from you uh, with your next update on your website. So that's been Warren McLeod. Featured another one of our featured artists here at uh, World Photography Day on August 19th at London Drugs in the southwest of Calgary. Uh, we lovingly call it London Drug Store 32, but it's London Place West. And uh, thanks again, Warren. Okay.